There we have the bell. Once again, Loud and Noxious here calling the action live as it happens here in Baldwin Park for Bar Wrestling, Tessa Blanchard, Daga. Two opponents who are very familiar with each other. Just put it that way. It's a very sportsmanlike handshake. They're very supportive of each other. They're very supportive of each other's careers, of course. But I mean, when you get in that ring, all that kind of goes out the window. Once it's you versus your opponent, I mean, oh, there's only one. There's only one pay window, and that's the winner's pay window. The loser doesn't get a pay window. In the short time that I've gotten to know Daga here on the independent circuit, I have been extremely impressed with his explosive, high speed, high action style, man. He can keep it, he can hold his own against anybody in that ring. Against a, a Brian Cage, or against a Penta, or against a Ray Phoenix. Like this guy can go and go and go and go. We're gonna see a lot out of Daga, uh, both here in the United States, in Mexico, over at Dragon Gate. I mean, he's, he's, all, he's been all over. Of course, Tessa Blanchard. I mean, she's got Tessa's got to be one of the most improved professional wrestlers that I've ever seen in, in the last year or two since 2017, when I first saw Tessa Blanchard hit the scene. I mean, she was already pretty good. You know, she just had that natural wrestling capability and aptitude. Being a third-generation wrestler, you tend to have that sort of skill right off the bat. But in the amount of time since then, just the two short years. Since then, she has improved in quantum leaps and, and go, gone on to be one of the very, very, very best in the world. And uh, I mean, could be partially due to the time she spent with Daga, who's also another world-class professional wrestler. But I mean, when you hang around the best, you tend to become the best. And Tessa, Tessa really likes to hang with the best. She doesn't care if she's in the ring with men or women or in tag team competition or singles tag or mixed tag. Tessa just likes to compete with the best. She likes to prove that she is the best. And she has an argument. She definitely has an argument. get to see these two go at it like this. This is sort of a rare opportunity to see these two go at it. You can just see the speed with, with which they move in that ring. Daga almost getting Tessa up for possibly a chicken wing. Tessa with an arm drag. Give me a break, man. That's a lot going on right there. Tessa goes around, but Daga springboarding back to his feet. He's very athletic. As both Daga and Tessa, Daga and Tessa Blanchard putting each other to the test tonight. Again, a rare treat for the bar wrestling faithful to see these two go at it. Tessa goes downstairs hard, kick to the bread basket. Daga reverses. Tessa takes a break right in the middle of the ring and Daga goes up and over. This time it's Tessa with a standing Rana. Those powerful legs of hers. Tessa working up some momentum now all the way across the ring. Tessa driving elbows right into the side of Daga. Tessa.
Tessa just the recipient of a forearm, a big forearm shot. Daga just delivering a, a big uppercut forearm right to Tessa, right in the middle of the ring. And Tessa went right down. I always saw her favoring her ankle on the way down. Daga throwing in a hard shot there as Tessa went down very awkwardly. And Daga holds on to that, that arm lock, that elbow lock that he's got from behind. Might be trying to get a submission hold out of Tessa. Daga just stomping down hard, and I don't know, Tessa looked like she went down awkwardly on her ankle. And I don't know if she's gonna be able to even make it back to her vertical base. Can Tessa fight back out of this, though? As her left shoulder is taking a beating here. More right hands from Daga. Twisting away, twisting at that shoulder. Daga hooks the leg. Doesn't get the, quite enough for three. It seems Daga has deliberately slowed down the pace of this match so he can inflict a little bit more high impact. A little more striking. A little more methodical of an approach, a methodical attack. Tessa gets launched up by her, by her wrist. As Daga holds on to that wrist. Tessa unable to break free. Incredible maneuver as Tessa goes up and is able to hook the legs in, and take Daga over head first. It was a very, very dangerous move, but Tessa pulled it off. Daga charges into the corner with maybe a little too much momentum as it took him over and out, and now Tessa through the ropes, out on to the floor. Tessa's not taking a break at all. Tessa's going straight to the top rope. Right here as Daga's out on the floor, Tessa flies. Right into the arms of Daga who goes down. Tessa taking her time, of course. There are no count outs here in bar wrestling. Hooks the leg. Tessa mounting a huge comeback there. Had Daga down. She's gotta continue her assault here if she wants to stay on top of Daga, which is what she's gonna have to do. Daga rolls her up. Tessa came right out from behind, catches Daga with a super kick. And Daga catches Tessa in midair. Just caught her. Straight up caught her in midair. And now he's gonna just manhandle Tessa Blanchard. Lifting her up into that suplex position. All the way up and over. What power from Daga holding his opponent and then driving her over full force. And somehow Tessa Blanchard Gets the shoulder up, I'm not quite sure how.
Gonzaga with Tessa in a power bomb like position. But Tessa able to do a little bit of pounding with her right hand there. Tessa using the ropes. Tornado DDT, down goes Daga. Tessa now speeding things up. Another DDT. Sends Daga head first. Tessa hooks the leg. But not enough. Not enough to put away Daga. You can see the emotion on Tessa Blanchard's face. Tessa Blanchard, desperate now. Looks like she might be going up to the top to do some damage here, end this match. She definitely wants to win. Caught herself on the way down. But Daga goes downstairs, taking away Tessa's feet. Daga's in control, hoisting Tessa from a gut wrench position. All the way up, sit out power bomb. Hooks the legs. Two count only. Somehow Tessa Blanchard got the shoulder up. I'm wondering how she was able to do that. Daga dropped her with that high impact sit out power bomb. That was right in the center of the ring. Now into the corner, Tessa throwing right hands at Daga. Right hands, right hands. Tessa in midair, all the way from the second turnbuckle, Tessa turns it around and reverses at the last second, sending Daga over. Tessa Blanchard now seizing her opportunity. At that last moment, she was able to snap Daga over, and now Tessa from the top rope, double knees from the top, hooks the leg, two, Tessa Blanchard gets the win!